Yeah, I mean, your chromosome is looks like that, um, and that is actually obviously two strands of DNA joined together. Um, yeah. A C G T A with your um, mm -hmm. hydrogen bonds, and obviously these then get pulled apart, and you know, new DNA comes in. Um, so that's semi-conservative replication. So you've got two new strands of DNA, and you know the hydrogen bonds joined together. So all this all occurs in interphase. So this is what you see um, at the end of telophase of, might say, mitosis. This, the semi-conservative replication where they get pulled apart, occurs in interphase. So what you then see at the end of prophase is you see a coiled up chromosome like this and this is actually the two strands and then they're joined together by a centromere. Now the quantity of DNA has doubled but the quantity of information has stayed the same because they're semi-conservatively copied one to each other. So this in the center here is your centromere and these are both what are called sister chromatids. Now the confusion comes with students is that obviously if you look at a, uh, a cell in mitosis, in meiosis sorry, so you've got two chromosomes. Well, this is a 2n cell, and n here equals 2, so 2n e so n equals 1. So that 2n cell is then obviously is going to line up So this has got two chromosomes in it, and this has now got two chromosomes in it. So when it gets pulled apart, each chromatid becomes a chromosome. So the quantity of DNA is halved, but the quantity of information has remained the same. Now when you compare this with meiosis, in meiosis, if you have your two chromosomes, because they line up, homologous pairs and they get pulled apart then at the end of meiosis 1 the, you've got gone from a 2n cell to an n cell and here the you've still got this chromosome which is two chromatids joined together by centromere but you've halved the amount of information you then take each one of those and you pull them apart again in meiosis 2 and then you end up with this so you've gone from again an n cell to more to now four n cells you've halved the quantity of dna but the quantity of information has remained the same and that yeah for students get appallingly confused that this can be a chromosome and that can be a chromosome. But the, the way to look at it is what, how many copies of the information are present.